If you've been around any kind of board game reviews long enough, you'll notice that there's a couple of different tropes that come into play. Now, one would be unboxings, right? Uh, someone goes through, opens up the box, and rifles through the components. Those are actually really some of the best material ever. And then you've got the ones where they introduce the product, um, then they show you the features of the product, they go into the overview of how it plays, and then they come back with their final thoughts. Those people are nuts. And then you've got the people that they will sit uh, right next to a really nice looking table. All a bunch of hipsters, if you ask me. You know, who wants to sit next to a table that has really nice railings, that's really comfortable to sit at, that dice would roll on real easy, and that has slots for cards and things like that? I mean, who, who wants a table like that, right? So, you know, today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you something that's not a table, that is not something that has legs on it. I'm gonna show you something that just sits on a table, and that, my friends, is where the game toppers come into play. So, I'm gonna show you all the different pieces of the game toppers. I'm gonna show you uh, the railing system. I'm gonna show you everything about it. And then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. And who knows, maybe I'll even do an unboxing. And so with that said, let's jump into this review of the Game Toppers. So let's take a look at the underside of just one of uh, the halves of the table. Um, what you're looking at right now is a couple of crossbars that run right here and right here. There's also two on the other end. Um, and then you've got the bottom side of the rails uh, that also have this rubber uh, matting um, here and here and there. And of course the crossbar, or not the crossbar, but the, uh, the railing system that's across the bottom. And what this does is it keeps everything on the table and it also protects the surface of the table. Now, I'm using a, a plastic um, you know, folding table that does the job, um, does what I need it to do, but I wouldn't have any problems throwing this on top of my uh, dining room table and using it there from time to time as well. And so it, it does a really good job at protecting the surface and it does a really good job at actually keeping things on the table. Um, if I've ever had to move the table, um, I could actually push on the table or the game topper and it will actually move the table around because it's sticking to the surface that well. It's not going to slide. You can force it to if you grip the table and of course move it, um, but it is, it is not going to slide on the table. Um, it also keeps it secure so if you lean on it and go to push it up, push up from it, uh, it will not mess with you there. The other thing it has on the bottom is you'll notice on the on the right hand side uh, this little section here that looks like a um, kind of like a lip on like an interlocking uh, section right here. Uh, that is kind of like your Hot Wheels tracks, you know, where um, you want to interlock them together and kind of slide them in like that. It does the same thing here. Um, the other half, of course, has the section that it's going to go sliding in right there. Let me show you how this comes together. So I'm going to set this side down over here on the table just try to center it a little bit it is wider uh, than the standard table so there is a little bit of a gap over here on the other side uh, it really doesn't make a difference though um, but if you center it up uh, you'll definitely have a good experience with that uh, so I'm gonna put the other side down and let's get this other side down now these only weigh about 32 30 pounds uh, at least with the uh, with the Watson which is what I've got here and they're really not all that difficult to put together as far as the um, the weight of it and everything. So uh, when it comes to that, it's um, it's really the the big thing is is can you can you get yourself put together uh, in that awkward position where you have kind of a long reach, which is really good for me. Um, but uh, I've seen folks that are much smaller than me um, be able to pick this thing up without any problems, put it up on the table, and it's done. I mean. My, my little toddler, he's almost three, he weighs 30 pounds. And so this is something I'm used to picking up on a daily basis and even tossing around. Although I wouldn't toss this around, 
um, which sounds really bad because it sounds like I'd rather toss my son around and, and manhandle him than I would this table, but that's not really what I mean, and that's beside the point. So, back to the table. Um, so, this point right now, um, all you gotta do is slide this guy over and put it like that, and then you just tighten up these uh, pieces here. And you do it on the other side, and that's how you assemble the table. And then all you gotta do is lay a mat on top, and that's it. That's the assembly. It's as simple as that. It, uh, it really isn't um, a huge deal to get this thing on the table. Um, the only trouble I've ever had is if you try to set it on the table because of those rubber footings, and you try to scoot it together, um, sometimes it doesn't really work too well because of, of how good of a grip it does. So what you have to do is kind of lift it up just a little bit uh, and be able to slide it together and put the piece uh, together like that. Um, so let me, uh, let me show you some other things with this table. So here it is, uh, all put together. Uh, you got this nice, uh, real nice uh, smooth surface here that, you know, honestly you could play on uh, if you want to do that or even put some plexiglass down. So the nice thing about this is that you've got some options, right? So um, they have mats uh, that come with it uh, that you can put down on top of this. Um, I don't know if I would really play on the surface just because there's um, just this little, you know, uh, edge here. Um, although it runs over pretty smooth. So um, you could use it if you wanted more of this wood surface uh, look or feel like um, maybe you're playing uh, flick em up or something and you want a smooth surface to do that. You could do that or um, probably put some plexiglass over the top or something like that. Okay, so let's talk about the, the size of this. Um, this actually is the Watson, which is a uh, 60 by 38, which means that you've got, you've got kind of this, uh, this inlet here, which is the 60 by 38. That's where the measurement's at. The actual size, though, you have to add another three and a half inches on, uh, for the railing on either side. So you're really looking at a 67 by 45, um, which is a good size. So when it comes to this table though, if you're putting it on a six foot table when it comes to the Watson, you are gonna have a little bit of a lip at the end, which is just fine. Um, I, I haven't really seen a problem with it as far as leaning on it. The only issues you're gonna have is if you try to take advantage of the railing system. Now, uh, if you use it just as a component tray, it'll sit just fine because it sits up high enough. Um, but typically, you know, you end up with a situation where, hey, you're you're not really going to put your drink in the middle of the table, right? You're typically going to put it off to the side if you're sitting over here. So it really ends up working out. Um, there's plenty of room to be able to put it on the side, but just in case that might be something that bugs you, um, certainly something to take in consideration. Or what you can do is make sure that you just get a smaller table, uh, get one that actually only goes to um, 60 inches, um, which is, I, I've seen them at like Office Depot, Office Max kind of thing. And, uh, you know, you can check those places out and uh, be able to find it if you, uh, if you don't have a table that size. Um, other than that, it works pretty well. Uh, what we've done uh, typically, though, is uh, if we only have uh, five people, uh, we've just simply uh, slid um, or slide the, the actual table topper, game topper, all the way down to the end. Uh, that way it just kind of covers up that end. And that way that person's not really bugged by that at all and they can... Uh, use the uh, the component trays however they like to at that particular end. The other option of course is to go to I think it's called the homes uh, which is a little bit bigger table um, it's a little bit uh, thinner and a little bit longer um, so if that's something that uh, you need to take in consideration um, then you might want to uh, look at that. Okay uh, I just threw this uh, simple mat out um, onto the table uh, just to have something to kind of show you that, you know, you could throw these mats up and be able to have them. Now, um, during the Kickstarter campaign, I know Berkey's going to have um, some really cool mats out there, some premium mats uh, that um, that you can get in addition to um, the table as well as the regular mats uh, that are, um, are going to be available. And so um, once I get my hands on that, you'll see that uh, popping up here. Uh, in, uh, in my videos, but uh, I, I'm certainly looking forward to that. But just having just kind of a, a simple surface here um, like this makes it easier to be able to slide cards, 
makes it comfortable for dice and things like that to be able to chuck on it and you don't have to worry about the table surface. All right, so I wanted to give you a sense of table presence here. Um, so here is Scythe, or Scythe, depending on who you talk to. Now I don't have all the components out, but you can see all the player boards are out, which is where you're gonna put a lot of the components. You have the actual game board out, um, where you're going to be placing components, those kind of things, a lot of the cards. Um, there's plenty of room on either side um, of the players to be able to put their cards out and uh, be able to mess with their components. Um, and of course, all your resources are out on the board. Um, I've uh, put the uh, combat wheels over there uh, out on the uh, on the rails. You can see they fit just uh, nicely inside of it. Um, but I wanted to give you an idea of what this looks like uh, when it comes to having a large game on this table. Now, I did attempt uh, to throw up the uh, collector's edition board with the large board extension. That took up a little bit more than what I would like um, if I was trying to play this um, with multiple players. Um, there might be a configuration in which to do it, but I certainly didn't see it. Um, but then again, it just depends on the size table that you're using, the size um, game topper that you're going after. So because mine is a little bit wider um, than, the, uh, than the Sherlock, um, then I think this is going to be a little bit better set up for things like this. So let's get a closer look at the rail system here. Uh, it extends all the way down at the end of the table. Um, and it goes all the way around to the actual corner and stops at the edge. Um, you can see here that this is, um, uh, this is this like aluminum metal. Um, I understand it's like military grade kind of stuff uh, that this is all built out of. So it's real nice and sturdy. Um, and then when it comes to actually putting the rails in, slides right in and just sits like that you can slide it down doesn't have any problems there um, the only thing that you're limited on is that you do have this block here in the middle where you tighten everything up uh, that does take up some rail space so if you're really hoping to kind of have something in the middle there you're not really going to be able to do that but um, most people when they set out their drinks they either put it on the side or uh, they extend it all the way to the other end oops let me actually get that all the way in there um, or they put it all the way at the other edge um, completely out of the way if you have enough uh, room to be able to do that. So um, so the only thing is you just can't use this middle section. All right, so let's talk about some of these components that actually uh, connect here with our rail system. Uh, so this is one of those ones that you just have kind of a single cup holder for. Um, this will hold good sized drinks, uh, been able to put bottles, cans, um, anything in there uh, that is of a decent size. Um, it really is not very limited um, as far as the size of drinks. So, unless you're getting some kind of massive uh, cup here, um, I think it's gonna fit most, uh, most drinks that you're looking for. And then of course, it's got this little um, component set up here um, where you can put you know, little chits and things that you're, um, that you're playing with um, or money, things like that, that you wanna get off the table. Uh, maybe you wanna try to hide from other players uh, and be able to throw it right on top here. Now we do have this double, uh, which is actually really nice. Um, because, you know, if you need something a little bit bigger, uh, maybe you want a tablet or something up, uh, maybe you're running a role-playing game and you want to be able to have your stand out a little bit further uh, so you can get uh, your books and things off the table, uh, this is also really helpful um, in being able to facilitate something like that. Um, one of the things we've done before, we were playing Pan Pandemic Legacy and uh, our toddler was getting a little bit unruly, so we actually just popped up um, our, one of our tablets up here and uh, let, you, let him watch some Mohana or something. And uh, he enjoyed himself. Um, he was entertained on a Friday night. He was kind of having a semi-movie night while we were trying to have a game night. Um, and we included him back in once he was kind of done with that. But uh, that kind of helped us out a little bit. But, um, but this is really cool. Um, if you ever need to pop it up, you can just pop up one of the um, little cups here. Or if you don't have the cup, you just reach up. Um, and you know, you got this, um, core foam core, not foam core, but, uh, this cork looking, um, setup here, but on the backside, um, it's got kind of like this, uh, paneling here, uh, that'll keep it kind of sturdy. Uh, I think if it didn't have that, it would probably, you know, fall apart, um, and start, you know, busting at the seams and stuff after just a little bit of wear. Uh, but it looks like it's going to last, um, a good long time. Now there are others, other components that you could add onto the rail system, such as a, a goblet holder. Um, but, uh, I, even though I like to play games with Vikings, I'm certainly not one. Um, and so when it comes to having a goblet holder, 
Uh, that just wasn't something I was going to pick up. But um, anyway, so uh, those are the components that go into the rails. I think the top of the rail uh, is kind of the hidden gem of, of the game topper. Now, if you, if you like to rest your hands, you want to rest your arms, that's really comfortable. It certainly doesn't, um, you know, leave any kind of like tracks on your arms or like that. Um, so it's really nice and easy to be able to just to rest your arms on it. Now, um, where you can basically slide cards into it. Uh, so like this card here from Deception. Um, and you might say, well, what about sleeve cards, right? Well, here's some of my sleeve cards from Star Realms. They slide right in, no problem. Um, you got your regular size cards here um, that go in with no sleeves. And then the also cool thing here is that it is thick enough to where if you want to put some tile size um, pieces in there, that these will slide just right in like that. Um, so it makes it real convenient when you're playing games that involve cards or things you have to hold on for a long time and you need to be able to put it um, in a spot that you can get to. Um, it's not always great for privacy when it comes to um, playing these games as far as if you have someone to your left or to your right. Uh, but if you're playing a, a game like Star Realms where your, your uh, opponent is across from you, uh, this is certainly a great way to be able to hold your cards if you like. Okay, welcome back. So, what do I think about the game toppers? Well, I just have to say that when it comes to playing on this surface, um, I am blown away at the quality, uh, at the craftsmanship, at the design of this thing. Um, I, I love it. It has actually gone and saved my ability to have large games with my family. I've just got a small office that's kind of a slash guest room slash office slash uh, video studio and um, it is uh, you know also got storage in it and things like that so we are kind of using this as our multi-purpose room and there's a lot going on here so for me to be able to have something that I can um, break apart put away um, fold down uh, the the folding table set it off to the side and out of the way and allow guests to be able to stay in the room, uh, for us to be able to do other things, craft projects, um, play games on the floor here in the office um, with my boys, whatever it is we're gonna do. Um, this table does uh, everything and more uh, than I would want. It's got a rail system so I can have cup holders. Um, it's got um, something I didn't even know I wanted, which was slots here to be able to put my cards in and to be able to have my components um, you know, sit on if there were little chits or something like that. Um, it's got uh, um, premium mats and stuff, which I, I haven't got my hands on yet, but I mean, it's only gonna make the experience better. The, um, you know, these, these rails here um, are so comfortable just to sit at. Uh, usually um, with, uh, with my wife and I, uh, if we're sitting for long periods of time, um, leaning over a table, especially a small, small card table, you know, our backs start kind of aching and we start moving around and twisting and everything. Um, but we'll sit here and play a game for a couple hours and it is so comfortable to be able to sit at. The, the rubber pieces to it, they, they don't scratch up your surface. Um, they keep everything steady. Uh, if I try to get up, uh, you can see here, as I push up, the table doesn't really move a whole lot. Um, even though it's probably sitting um, off the ledge, <laughs> probably by like, uh, you know, six to nine inches, something like that off the edge. And it does not feel like it's going anywhere, you know? Um, and so I think that what has to do with some of the weight distribution as well as some of the ways that the railing is set up. Um, and so it just does a phenomenal job with it. And, you know, to be able to get an accessory rail, to be able to slap on the end and be able to just take half of it, put it on top of a card table, and then you have something for a little bit smaller game, or smaller footprint. Uh, my boys love it. Uh, they're having an absolute blast. Um, you know, one of the things that happens every single time that we play a game is somebody drops components onto the floor. Um, I have to say, we played Pandemic Legacy on this thing and no components got dropped. We then played another game uh, called uh, Scream or Die and it had a ton of dice on it. And we were rolling dice and throwing it around. Not one of them hit the floor. And so it's really kind of nice to be able to do that, roll stuff on the on the table, move components around, and it's not going to fall off. Now, you're going to have those people that are going to chuck dice like they're playing craps or something like that. Well, it's only got about an inch and a half deep <laughs> well, and so it's going, it's 
probably going to pop over. So if you got those folks that think they're just going to be able to, you know, be a high roller here, it's that's not going to be the case. I'm a big guy, and I can reach almost all the way across the table. Uh, my wife, who's about a foot shorter than me, um, she can reach out and hit to the middle of the table just fine. So to me, this feels like it's the perfect width. So when it comes to the surface, um, I feel like it's going to take up you know, just enough room to be able to do um, the area that I need, and especially in the space that I'm dealing with um, and can find it. Now I could take it to my, my dining room table and put it out there, but I think my wife would rather have this thing contained down here, but we'll bring it out for special occasions um, into the dining room um, for that. I mean, I'm sitting here playing a game with my family, not even thinking about the fact that there's a plastic folding table under the surface. Some of you guys out there that have longer legs, um, some of you ladies out there that have longer legs, um, one of the problems that I typically have is if I'm moving around or I go to twist or turn, um, I'm cracking my knee on the legs all the time. Now, with this thing being wider than the table that I've got it on, I have not hit my legs on the legs of this table at all. And to me, that was something that I didn't notice at first, but I started really enjoying the fact that I don't have to worry about that. I can move my legs around. I don't feel like I'm hitting the person across. I also can kind of stick my legs out a little bit and I'm not playing footsie with the person across from me. So, you know, from that perspective, my wife was happy that that wasn't happening. Um, although I'm not sure how I feel about that now. Oh, but uh, anyway, that's beside the point. Um, but, the the experience that you have um, for the dollars that you're going to spend on this thing, I think always anything that you would get with one of those tables that you have that are built up. I don't think there's anything wrong with those tables. Um, I think the other ones they have some you know really neat um, ideas and concepts around it. And if you have a gaming space that is just dedicated to gaming, um, by all means, I think you should go for those. But I'm telling you you're not going to notice the difference. Um, the only thing you can worry about is if it's hanging off the edge of a table, but you can go for probably another 45 bucks and get yourself a table that goes the exact size as, as the one that we're dealing with here um, or something just a little bit smaller so it doesn't the table doesn't hang out at the end. It's a small price compared to what you're going to pay for um, one of those big tables. So when it comes to this, I, I think your experience is going to outweigh uh, the dollars. Um, this to me uh, is an heirloom. Um, this isn't just a, a tabletop um, that sits on top of my table. It, this is something that um, my family is going to enjoy for years on end. Um, this is something that I can sit with friends and family and really just have a good time around the holidays, around special events, um, just having a game night and um, this is going to enhance the experience. Yeah, I gotta say, if you got a small space, if you don't have a dedicated gaming um, setup for your, um, for your house, if you want something that is potentially portable that you can take to your friend's house and be able to use on their tables, um, and if you want some flexibility uh, to be able to take this down, get an accessory rail and be able to put it onto a smaller card table, um, Maybe even get two rails and put one on one side, one on the other, and then have two card tables going at the same time. Um, this is something that's possible. You could put this on an ottoman and be able to play a game there right in your living room um, off the ottoman uh, if you did something of the smaller variety. So there's just so many options that you have with this um, uh, with this setup and with the railing system and, and just with the way this thing is built. It's built to last. And uh, I am certainly pleased with it. Um, and the added bonus as a video reviewer is that I think that my videos are gonna look a whole lot better with this table. This is something that has saved my family's large game life. So this allows us to do things that we could not do on a regular basis. Um, this is something where I can leave games up on it and it will allow us to be able to have uh, a ton of fun for years on end. So with that said, um, I really do appreciate you watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in the comment below. And please hit that subscribe button so you can see what other content that we have out there when we come up with new videos. Especially get to see this wonderful, beautiful table that's going to show up in our videos from now on. So, with that said, my name is JT, and you've been watching G Club.
and you have other tropes like celebrities that will present games and they will sell out at Target. <laughs> 14 minutes of talking. I did 14 minutes of talking. I just won't shut up.